Oh, how long did that how long did that take to set up, David? Um, I was here five o'clock, and now it's six twenty-five. Okay. So that's an hour and twenty minutes. Okay. All right, not too bad. At least we're getting it. So. So. Let's, let's go. Get rolling. Let's go. Welcome to Josh Tam's video diary with your flyer. Do you like my flyer? Dance the theme music. No, 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 no. All right. Finally, we're up and running. This took a while. So, what's up? What's up? It's Chinese New Year. Time to fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Fuck up. Don't hate fat toy. Don't hate fat toy. Fuck. Um, I wish you fuck and. Sun Zhong Le Kin. Man Si Yi Yi. No Ma Ting San. All right, let's do this. Okay. So. This special episode of Chinese New Year Fuck Up episode series. Now we're here with Josh Tan Video Diary and the Fire. Let's get going. Next, um, what we're we gonna talk about today? Today we're trying. Um, the reason why we did this, despite on this busy schedule of Chinese New Year, mm -hmm. um, I guess it's because we want to practice more on setting up the gears quickly, and we try. We aim to do this within 30 minutes, but apparently our setup <laughs> took an hour and 30 minutes. Well, we're still figuring out stuff. We, we rigged up a secret mic here, we've got a mic here, and we play around the TV, we put it here and then we put it there, and then we had a second camera, and then we realized we moved the TV, so we don't need the second camera. So we got rid of the uh, second camera, mm -hmm. and then we couldn't, see the, <laughs> we couldn't see the laptop, so we had to rig up the laptop to the big TV, and we have this little thing here, so we can actually see what we're recording. So I'm just going to pull that into camera so you can see it's kind of cool. We have Sony's play memories there on a stand. And now I can see if we're going to hit the 30 minute recording. I can see if we're in focus. I can see if the settings are right. I can see if we're in frame. This is actually pretty cool. We've been recording for four minutes now. I can see if the battery's running out. It's actually really good. Yep. So. so so what are we going to talk about today? Okay, so we should set this up, before we go on to that, we should set this up real quick. Now we know we're going to try this set up. Oh yeah. We know right. what to do. You took photos of it. Yeah, I took and photos of it. Make sure we're going to get this set up right off the bat yeah, next time. Yeah, we know time. where everything goes. That goes there. And there is to be no deviations next time. Yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, a little bit. We can tweak things here. No! <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, let's get on to the show. First of all, we have some food... Pictures. Yeah, gonna, since it's Chinese New Year, everyone's going to be eating a lot of food, so it's might as well talk about food pics. Basically, um... Is checking the mics on? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see, what have we got here? Now, I haven't actually seen these before. Now, David pulled out these food pics, so it's going to be the first time I'm going to see them. And we're going to do a quick critique. Now, I actually screwed up the last show. I deleted the whole entire footage, thinking it was... A, an earlier version of the Draftlia and Josh Town's Video Diary show. So we're going to redo part of it, which is okay. This is all test, but it's kind of annoying that yeah. I lost the whole show. So, all right, let's get going. Okay, um, let's go. We start off with... Uh, actually, this is not in order. Damn. <laughs> it's okay. All right, so do you want to pull that up on preview? Yes, let's... Maybe we should have preview running. Uh, oh, yeah, next time. Well, do you know you can select all? Select all. <laughs> and then do open with preview. Ah. Yeah, preview. Now right. if you full screen it, we're going to look professional. Full so screen, full screen. How do you full screen this? Press. <laughs> Don't you know how to use Mac, David? No! I mean, draft, draft flyer. I'm not your professional. I'm not your tech whiz for this. Anyway, let's start with this. This is a pic, of my a pic that my friend took. Oh, while okay. we so eat. you didn't shoot this, so I can rip into it, right? Um, no. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've got, I got his authorization already. I see. So we have the 3x4 grid. So I can't actually go in and see what detail there is, but that's cool. Let's have a look at this. Should we look at it? What's the one problem with this picture? Uh, the composition's a bit strange. No, the composition isn't strange because there's only one composition up there. Ta-da, they're all in the middle. What do you mean? <laughs> they're all the same, exactly the same. Oh, but Same this... angle, same... Uh... No, this is a food picture. You want... We're not going to really go into rule of thirds with it. We're no, kind I'm... of a... We kind of are, but let's have a look. Now, I can, 
Actually, oh no. My friend, this is, we have to give credit to this guy here. So yeah. Let's go back to here, go to here. This, how do I zoom in? You know, oh no. It's not Photoshop. How do I scroll? <laughs> how do I scroll? Okay, I can use the mouse. Yeah. Okay, should we look at each one individually or the whole thing? Because I oh, the whole thing one. we'll do. Like, let's do the all whole right, thing. all right. Um, now, rule of thirds works with food. Like when you position your elements, you can see here, you have, you know, a big pig thing, kind of going like this, and you have a big sauce there. So when you look at that whole frame, you can put the sauce in the rule of thirds, put it in here, or and then move the, you know, you can use this diagonal to show the. The pig. So you can use rule of thirds. Now I kind of think there's only one one part here that uses a decent composition. That's this one. Yeah, this one. The is triangular. Is forgot the name thing, but the oh. triangular position, and then the rest is all in the center. I see. I see. No but, arguments about that. Okay. Now food flow. It's not such a big deal if this is the center because you're just showing the food. You don't need to be put the back put the food on the side and have like empty space on the left. But you can position your food to have in, an interesting composition. So this chicken, like it's just like sp splat in the middle, and then you've got this. <laughs> you've got this cut, <laughs> this cut there, and I guess it it could be a bit more beautiful. And you've got a bit of a half wing here, and yeah. I kind of want to. I know it's food, but I want to see like nicely placed bits of chicken. That's kind of like someone's deli. Yeah, you know, look at the Japanese and see how they display their food. They're the best at it. They will put the chicken nice pieces, and they'll, they'll have a nice row, and they'll have a nice row. In Hong Kong, we should go splat. Now, yeah. this is also partially the fault of the restaurant, because there's going to, you know, Chinese cafe, they're like, splat, yeah, splat here next. <laughs> ding and ding, some noisy is like next. Like, you can eat it, that's good enough. It's not going to kill you, it's good enough, right? Um, but that said... It's not too bad. I mean, this is probably shot on an, on an iPhone, right? Cause I yeah, can they see, are iPhones. I can see the depth of field. iPhones, you can't... It's not like a DSLR or a, a full frame mirrorless where you can just show a small section of focus. Yeah, I'll tell you nice. where my phone cake comes in after this. <laughs> okay, so, you know, well, it's iPhone stuff, you know, you can't expect too much. All right. That's so, okay, let's move on. Let's move let's on. Move on. Uh, uh -huh. LG also iPhone. Okay, so this is another amateur food shot, right? Yes, now, I shot that now within the pick of a time. Okay, so you didn't have time, but this, this could have done a lot better though. This is why it looks amateur, because what the heck are these? You have these spikes going in through there. Are these forks or yep, these are forks. Is it, you know, and they're kind of weirdly positioned and you want to show off the food. We don't care about the forks. <laughs> we we don't care about the the, what the bottom of the wine glass looks like. See here. By the way, this is cool. If you if you move the mouse fast, it goes big. Yeah. Uh, if you, what's what's the point of this empty plate here? You know, I don't care about someone's empty plate. I want to see food. <laughs> this is blurry. There's too much stuff. There's a half a chair here. Okay, and your food is just this small section in the middle. It's taking up a little bit of the frame. So your subject is very important. So yep. Next. Next. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I just think this is more interesting. I don't know about this one. I feel like it should be landscape. Well, at least it, you're, you're, you're directing it to this part. And I still, still don't know what I'm... Am I looking at the sprite? Am I looking at the food? Why is it, you know? And then you've got all these soups and empty bowls. Why didn't you just zoom in on the uh, food here? <laughs> King of crop. King of crop. <laughs> to, to the rescue. <laughs> okay. Uh, credit to my friend just now, the photos that he took. Okay, so this is the portrait of the photographer. I'm not going to comment <laughs> not on your portrait. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Now this one is getting a bit better now. Really? I took uh, this. I think so. It's not great. <laughs> I'm very honest here <laughs> on on the photo critique, but... I don't know, there's also, there's one problem that I have with Chinese food taking up. Oil. Oil and the lighting. Uh -huh. How should it work? Okay, so, there's something interesting going on here with these bubbles. I mean, it's, it's almost a little bit arty. Look at these beautiful bubbles. I don't, I'm not quite sure you want to show this off in your food because people are terrified of fat. 
and oil. People think they you look know, delicious. If you eat oil, and look, it's bokeh. It, this is the Seinfeld it's joke. Bokeh. It's 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 fat. If I eat the fat, it's the fat's gonna be me. I'm gonna be fat. It's, but so it's really bokeh. <laughs> bokeh. Uh, oops. Uh, uh, uh. This part. Well, it's still sharp though. <laughs> yes, it's this still part sharp. is sharp. Okay. Okay, so you're kind of getting there, but so but how did you even do that? Like. This is on a phone, right? So this is... I don't know. I just took it with an LG. I think it's the shake. That part is shaking. Okay. And this part isn't. It, so yeah, it looks sharp like, here and it's like... It looks like there's motion blur. I was doing this motion blur. Okay. And then it created this really okay. sharp image here. This is a bit more interesting, but still, make your subject the subject. Why do we have a Subject's spoon here? Subject's not oil, actually. Why do, <laughs> but then zoom in on the oil, get it real close. We have a spoon here, which is in, like slapped on the tail of the fish. This is all, all these onions are kind of nice, but it's all chopped off. So, you know, could be better. Could be better. It's like, Oops. this is a meh shot. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Blurry? Yeah, it's <laughs> mix in dark environments when you use your iPhone to shoot pick shots like this, now, it's going to get really blurred. Now, you, I also noticed you put a I phone here. Three things. You put a phone in. What? Why are we seeing a phone here? There's this thing where people get annoyed when you eat with them, that their phone, it, phones are out and everyone's WhatsApping, you know, their girlfriends or whatever, and no one's actually paying attention to the food or the friends that you're eating with. So it's just a subtle thing too. But I just think like the three combos make a good composition. I thought this phone would be like a good background. No, it doesn't work for me. It's about food, right? And then why am I seeing a, why am I seeing a phone? And the food's not even sharp. Uh, yeah. Ah. <laughs> okay, get out of here. Uh, that, what what is sharp? Show, what the, is sharp that, is that, this that, point that's one here. Thing, that is Somewhere that. here. Um, food picks, um, yeah, make sure they're sharp. And because I, sh I shot this, I failed. Um, the lighting is poor. And plus, don't you have an, an NEX or an Alpha or something? Uh, no, the pro, uh, yes, I do. Uh, these are the pics I took with my phone. Okay. All right, this is crap. Next. Next. <laughs> okay, this, this is getting is... better. Now, you're going to critique this. You're going to self-critique this, because I've told uh, you what I like. Bad exposure. Like. Okay. <laughs> Underexposed. Okay, it's a bit dark, yeah? Yeah, I could have photoshopped that, but I... It looks like your white balance is a bit yellow. Uh... It's not too bad for food. You want it a bit warm. Now. Um, yes, but um, this place, the environment is dark. Okay. Okay. Well, that's about what we can do. But we want to get to, an, we want to get from an amateur level to a more professional level. So first of all, we should clean up all the insects off our food. Yeah. Yeah. There's probably a bug there. And then, okay, what's this? What's this doing here? And someone's hand. <laughs> get that out of the way. <laughs> And this is too tilted, like, I want to turn my head. <laughs> okay, next. Next. <laughs> okay, now this is getting better. This is your best shot so far. Yes. But this looks like it's been shot on not a phone. Is that correct? No, no, not a phone. You can see the both things here. Yeah, okay. So you do get quite a difference with, you know, from phone to proper camera with a big yeah. sensor. You do... You do get a big. I'm trying to show like the different types of photos that you can take with the photo toothpick. I see. Because it's more about taking the food, and in the relationship, you have to know your equipment well. Mm. I mean, Josh would be able to take a professional photo like this easily. Now these are great. So, okay, okay, let's critique this one. So, uh, love the detail. This is good. So. But you could have done this with your phone. I'm not saying you can't. You could have done this with your phone and then blurred it. I did the Instagram blur filter or something and got a pretty similar result. Yeah, I guess so. Also, it's still a little bit dark. And... Lighting. Use your cell phone. You can try it. I can try it next time. Okay. Now, this is still looking a bit low for me. I, I feel like if you raise the camera a bit, you can see more of the food on oh. top, you see? So, you're kind of at a low angle. You, you can see, make the food your hero. So you want to see this, this, and this, and this there. And if you go up a bit more, you'll see a nice circular shape. Mm -hmm. Okay. Again, keep, in, keep an eye on your background. And I'm guilty of this as well sometimes mm -hmm. when I'm just focusing on the subject. But you have this very uninteresting 
shape here, but it's taking up a lot of the frame, like here. So let's get rid of that, focus on the food. You, we don't really need to see the bowl so much, so you can crop in more and make the food your focus. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Hands. Uh, it, this is a really bad one. Okay. But this one. Pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a bit more interesting, but what is your subject here? What are you trying to show? I want to show this one actually. I think I screwed up. Okay. I was trying to use my. Uh, I, want to, I just want to show that this is the best lens I have. Okay, so for this, the ever. this looks like a, a 50 mil? It's a 24 1.8. Okay, so that in I equivalents. Does that become a 50 mil on a full frame? Because you're using... Uh, 35, 35. Ah, so it's 35. Okay. 35 that's to a little 8. Bit wider, yes. Okay. That's cool. So wide open, is it? Wide open. Uh, wide got, open. I love the shallow depth of field, but when you do too that... Too shallow. You <laughs> need to... It's not too shallow, but we want to... This is your subject, so we, we do want to see a bit more of it. Cup. And then we're only seeing the rim of the cup, whereas this beautiful heart shape is much more interesting. So... I feel that if your point of focus was here, and you can, you can do this by a few ways, moving your camera forward and backwards, your manual focus, you can do all that, you will get a much more interesting photo because I think the design is quite lovely. Now, what's good about this is the narrative of the field. It's nice to see you have a friend, so you didn't go drink coffee by yourself. You have someone else that's drinking coffee, and it's very nice and white. I, I kind of feel it could be a little bit whiter even, because it's still a little bit grey in some areas. You can just up your exposure, exposure uh -huh. compensation. Now, don't be a lazy photographer. There's like some dot here. I don't know if that's the cup or whatever, but if you could just give that a wipe or just, uh -huh. just clone it out, that will look a little bit better. And I still feel your composition is a bit... Too sideways. sideways. I'm, just, I'm not quite sure it works. It's not too bad. Okay. Mm. Shot of the day. White balance is off. It's too blue. It's too blue? Yeah, I made blue. it blue on purpose. Oh, okay. In that case, uh. you've got blown out areas. Now, this is by your, with your phone, right? No, no, no. I actually shot it with my NEX. Okay. The uh, old one. 5N. Then you've got too much stuff. I don't care about what mobile phone you're using or what battery charge you're using I was I, was, I had this when I took this photo I have this thought that like phones and uh, everything else can be used as a composition okay interesting then then you need to make it more deliberate yes and I need to use it to emphasize the food not just to do it for the sake of doing it because yeah. I, I, I actually I actually have one problem uh -huh. my main problem with food picks up till now is what do you do with your food? What do you mean? You eat For it? the picture. <laughs> yeah, you eat it, but still. Um, yeah. Well, there's just so much you can do with food pics, can you? Or am I wrong? Because I haven't... Maybe we can do it for the next show. How can we improve the food pics here? Well, I I'll see actually, if I can do a better I job. actually filmed me shooting some studio food shots. So that's coming up. And hopefully if that video is good, it's going to go on my main channel. But I... I yeah, anyway, we'll talk about that one. I don't think I was very informative because I had a deadline. I had to shoot the food. So uh -huh. I couldn't really talk people through it. But anyway, let's talk about the composition. This is... I was trying subject. to make a triangle here. Okay. With the phone. Doesn't really work. My mm, fork should move a bit so more. So you've got like this... Okay. I think play around a bit more. You kind of got an interesting shape. This. Yes. So you've got these leading lines. So you can use the coffee cup to lead into your food. But right now... It's kind of leading off the page, so it's uh, kind of yeah. leading into here. Your phone's leading into here, so if you want to play with leading lines, your phone is not pointing to the food, it's pointing off screen. Pointing to the, uh, this special charge is pointing okay. there. This food is pointing off here. The, the fork and knife is pointing really off here. The I source is pointing off here. So, so you can actually move elements around, control everything, and create leading lines if that's what you want to do. But right now it's not working. And you've got something else here which I don't know what it is. So I like to know... If something's prominent, like a big shape like this, it's mm. prominent. Uh, I want to know what it is or not know what it is. It's right now. It's like hmm. yeah, it's a bit of a mess. Okay, so this is blown out. So you can fix that in post, hopefully. Yeah, uh, okay. very dusty. Look, it, uh, I go here. I feel like oh, it's not very clean. This restaurant. Like I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. So this is not your fault, but it might take a bit of Photoshop to clean off this this dirt and stuff. Mm, okay. So anyway, keep shooting. 
The good thing is there you, will be a part two. Foot pick. Good thing is you put your <laughs> foot up here for me to rip apart, <laughs> and then you're gonna get better. So uh, keep going. Wait till part two. <laughs> okay. All right. Is that it for your shots? Yep. All right. Great. That's. Um, part two, let's do it. Um, cool, and then we should cue the music. We should cue the music because we're gonna split this show into two parts. So, theme music. <laughs>